Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do a very simple example of the quotient rule. So the question is to find the derivative, so d dx, of x squared over x plus 1. So there is a formula for the quotient rule. It says that if you have a quotient, f of x over g of x, and you want to take the derivative with respect to x, Think of f as your top function and g as your bottom function. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, all divided by the bottom 1 squared. So g of x quantity squared. So this is called the quotient rule from calculus. And again, it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom 1 squared. Let's apply it here to this particular quotient. So in our example here, x squared is our f of x. And then x plus 1 is our g of x. So I'm going to go ahead and write it again down here. So we have d dx of x squared over x plus 1. Okay, so it's the derivative of the top. So the derivative of x squared is just going to be 2x. You use the power rule, right? You bring down the 2, and you subtract 1 from the exponent. So it's 2x times the bottom, so x plus 1. Then minus the top, so x squared, times the derivative of the bottom, which is just going to be 1, because the derivative of x is 1, and um, the derivative of 1 is 0 because it's a constant. So it's just 1, okay? All over the bottom 1 squared. Let's double check that. Okay, so it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom one squared. Okay, we're not done. And the reason we're not done is we can still actually simplify here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so let's go ahead and distribute here. So this is equal to 2x times x, which is 2x squared. And then 2x times 1 is 2x minus, and then x squared times 1 is just x squared. All of this is being divided by x plus 1 quantity squared. Oh, look at this, look at this. We get some cancellation here, right? Well, so we can combine like terms. 2x squared minus 1x squared is simply x squared. So this is going to be x squared plus 2x over x plus 1 quantity squared. And that should be the final answer. Um, the best thing is we can check. This is from one of my books, uh, Superpowered Calculus. And let's just double check. So we got x squared plus 2x over x plus 1 quantity squared. Yep, it's correct. So hopefully uh, this has been helpful. Check out my courses. Link in the description. Check out my books. Links in the description. All my books, uh, ebooks are 2pi. Kind of fun. Paperbacks are 4pi. And hardcovers are 8pi. So they're all priced very irrationally. I hope it's been helpful. Stay strong.